Hello everyone, my name is Rohit and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to add a payment gateway system in your React Native Expo application. I will be using the Razorpay payment gateway which is I think one of the best payment gateway provider in the market. To keep it simple, I will try to make a test payment of 100 rupees and see how it goes. I will try to keep things as simple as possible. So without any further delay, let's get started. First we initialize our React Native Expo application. I will use the latest Expo SDK and choose the blank template. My app name will be payment. Now wait for a few seconds until the dependencies are downloaded. Now that our dependencies are downloaded, navigate to the newly created directory and open this project in your favorite code editor. Next we will install the react native razor pay package. Install it using the command you see on screen. These are the dependencies and their versions that I am using in this project. I am just focusing on making a payment so I won't make it messy. To test this code we need to build our app since the Razorpay package is not compatible with the Expo Go app. I checked the documentation a while ago, you can verify it. To build the app using the development build, we need to install the Expo Dev Client package. Let's install it. I am following the official docs to build our application. Next. To create a build for the device, just copy this command and paste it into your terminal window. Hit enter and continue with the default settings here. If you don't have a paid expo account, you might see a build waiting queue during peak hours. In that case, you don't have any other option but to wait and let the build finish. The build might take 5 to 10 minutes to complete. Now our build is complete and the terminal window show the QR code. Just scan this QR code using your phone's camera. If your phone camera doesn't support the QR code scanning, download a QR code scanner from the Play Store. Then scan this QR code, open the link in the browser and download the build to install it on your device. Next run the command npx expo start in the terminal window. A new QR code will appear on the terminal screen. Open your expo go app and scan this new QR code. This will render the default code of the app.js file. Now in app.js, we will write code to make a payment of 100 rupees using the Razorpay payment gateway. First, let's start with importing necessary libraries. We are using React and components like stylesheet, text, view, button and alert from React Native and of course Razorpay checkout from React Native Razorpay. Next we define our main function component app. Inside this we create a function called handle payment. This function will be responsible for initializing the payment process when the user clicks the pay now button. Here we are defining an options object. This object includes details about the payment like description, company logo, currency and amount. Note that the amount is in passe, so 10,000 means 100 INR. 
we also prefill user information for a smoother experience. Next we call the razor pay checkout.open function passing in our options. If the payment is successful, it returns some data including the payment ID. We saw this in an alert. If it fails, we catch the error and display an error message. Now let's set up our UI. We are returning a simple view with some text and a button. When the button is pressed, it triggers the handle payment function we defined earlier. Finally, we define some basic styles for our container using style sheet. This just centers our content on the screen. Alright, we have to add the Razorpay key here. To do this, go to Razorpay and create your account. Add two-factor authentication, then add and verify your bank account details. I did this a long time ago, so I won't do it again. After you log into your account, you will see your dashboard screen, which will look something like this. Right now, we are in test mode as Razorpay provides both test mode and live mode. As the name suggests, if you want to test your payment integration code, you can use test mode. But if you choose live mode, you will need to verify your mobile app or website where you are integrating the payment gateway. For now, I will use the test mode. Just copy this key ID and paste it into your code. If you don't see any key ID here, click on generate test key and it will generate a key for you. Alright, now it's time to test our application. Just click on pay now button, you will see the Razorpay payment template. Once you switch to live mode, you will see a lot of payment options like UPI and more. But in test mode, it's limited to just 4 which is fine. I will click on the card option and fill in all the required input fields. The card number will be 4 followed by all ones. The expiry date can be any future date. The CVV number can be any 3 digit number. The OTP can be any 6 digit number. Ok, our payment succeeded and this is what we wanted, right? Now check the Razorpay transactions, you will see the details of the recent transactions. The payment overview updates after a few hours. The recent transaction will be added here after a few hours. Also, you can see the Razorpay order ID is empty because we didn't add the order ID here. The order ID is necessary if you want to keep track of the order. To add the Razorpay order ID, we need to add the actual URL of your server where you have implemented the order creation endpoint. This server could be a separate backend server, a serverless function, a Next.js API route. This part depends on your requirement. I just want to show you how the payment is done. And there you have it, you have just integrated Razorpay into your React Native mobile application. Now your user can make payment. If you found this video helpful then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. 
for more coding tutorials thanks for watching and see you in my next video